Hello friends, how are you? This is Dr. Shinagi, Ayurvedan medicine doctor and also Isha Hatha yoga teacher. So today in this video, we are going to talk about cabbage. These days many people avoid cabbage because of its tapeworm possibility because it's been seen in many cabbage there is tapeworm and when people eat it sometimes it will enter you and it can impact your brain and which cause various kind of seizures. So people have stopped eating cabbage. But if you are choosing cabbage very wisely, you can avoid this worm and you can enjoy the taste and qualities of cabbage. Because cabbage is very, very light vegetable and very easy to digest and it has a lot of fiber which is very, very beneficial to clean your intestine and gut health. Cabbage is most widely used as a salad and also it is being used as a cooked vegetable. So whether cabbage as a salad is good or as a cooked vegetable is good. So let's see what Ayurveda has to say about it. If you ask about the nature of cabbage, cabbage is very much pitta pacifying and it is more of vata enhancing because as it is very light uh, vegetable that means easy to digest vegetable if you have good digestive fire. If you have weak digestive fire then if you are eating cabbage definitely it is going to cause gas in the stomach. But if you have very good digestive fire then it does not cause gas in the stomach and it is very beneficial for your intestinal flora because it contains a lot of fiber. For example, previous day if you have eaten very heavy meal, some very heavy meat diet or some very heavy paneer or very uh, heavy kidney beans or anything which is very heavy in nature which, that means that takes long time to digest. So the next meal or the morning meal you can choose in the form of cabbage like cabbage recipe because it has a lot of fiber and it will easily get digested if you have uh, good digestive fire and good stomach health. Otherwise, if you have weak digestive fire for some reasons, then it can cause little bit of gas in the stomach. Cabbage is not only beneficial for pitta because of its cooling potency, but it is also very beneficial for kapha dosh because it contains a lot of fiber in it. As you know, cabbage is well packed vegetable and it contains enough amount of chlorophyll in, its, uh, in it because it, th that makes its leaves green. So it is very very much powerhouse of energy in a way and it is very beneficial for your immunity too. So you should include cabbage in your vegetable diet but make sure like you do not choose wrong cabbage in the market. So let us see how to choose cabbage perfectly. If you have your own cabbage from your garden then it is very clear like it is healthy, organic and you can eat it. But if you have to choose cabbage in the market then once you go to market make sure the cabbage that you choose it should be very firm. The uh, leaves you know how cabbage leaves are one leaf after another leaf after another leaf. These leaves should be tightly packed very tightly they should be packed so that uh, it, it looks very firm like a ball like very tightly these leaves should be packed that kind of cabbage is good to choose because many times it's been seen if you take cabbage that has loosely packed leaves so sometimes it is rotten from inside uh, when you cut the cabbage you will see some brown spots or sometimes some leaves are rotten from within so whenever you are choosing cabbage make sure you choose that kind of cabbage which is very fully packed uh, within. Another thing that you need to keep in mind while choosing cabbage like it should be way more, it should way more than its size like it should be like a ball, it should be heavy. So that kind of cabbage you should choose. And one more thing that you need to keep in mind while choosing cabbage let us suppose this is a thumb test, you should pass the thumb test. When you put the thumb, when you put pressure little bit of thumb, it should feel like firm, it is very very firm, that is very important and the cabbage should not have some black spots over it or some brownish colored spots over it. So that kind of ca cabbage it is, then there is very possibility like it has some worms. 
in cabbage also when you go to market there are two colors dark green color this is more chlorophyll and the cabbage with some yellowish yellowish tinge and less chlorophyll so you should choose that cabbage which has more chlorophyll content but make sure it should not be dyed but more chlorophyll content more green looking and uh, it should not have some pores or holes or brown blemishes or some kind of spots that yellowish spots that kind of cabbage you should not choose so these precautions if you take you will be able to choose good cabbage and you will be able to cook this cabbage nicely also while cooking before once you opening this cabbage check each and every leaf before cooking that it should have some worm or no worm but usually when if you uh, buy cabbage with these precautions as i said uh, cabbage will be good and it will not be bad cabbage is very cooling in nature so it is very beneficial in inflammation if you have some rheumatoid arthritis or any kind of disease that include inflammation including ulcers peptic ulcer gastric ulcers uh, excessive acidity then also you can eat cabbage but make sure like you eat cabbage with some spices uh, definitely not for acidity or ulcer people but other people who are just generally eating cabbage they should always cook cabbage with spices uh in ayurveda cooking is very important seasoning of vegetables are not very much recommended in ayurveda but cooking uh cooking of vegetable with spices that is that makes it more uh, easy to digest and it contain the quality of uh, all the herb spices that are very beneficial for your health this way if you're cooking cabbage and eating it will digest very well but make sure you don't overuse spices because overuse of spices can cause acidity and all uh, gastric lining issues that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching and if you're watching me for the first time there's a bell icon there's a subscription button please click the bell icon hit the subscription button so that you stay in tune with our upcoming videos also if you would like to support us there's a join button near subscription button you can click this join button and you can support us those of you who want ayurveda consultations please write to me on this given email id and i will let you know how we can schedule it if you have any questions please write down those questions in the comment section i will try try to answer your questions in the best possible way so with this note i would like to say stay healthy stay blessed take care bye